the the heavy elements in our blood, everything that we need to be alive on Earth had to come from the explosions of stars and the formation of, of black holes, right? I've worked modeling this black hole since since I was a student, so I feel, you know, very attached to it. I, I dream about science, I dream about math sometimes. I try to imagine, you know, what it would be like if I could somehow fly there and how would it really look. We're part of the universe that created these things. We have the consciousness to understand them. We get to the point where we can start to explore distant objects and, and try to understand this weird multi-dimensional space that we live in. This space-time is almost like a fabric. And so this fabric you can think of is, is falling into the hole at the same speed of light. So light itself is like a fish trying to swim upstream, it can't get out. It's a personal thing to be able to, to understand them as well, I think. And it's also the fact that we're related to them. We're connected. <laughs> When I realized that I was one of the first group of humans ever to see a black hole, right? Because we were this limited team of like hundreds of people. It's a pretty, I mean, it's not often in life that you feel unique. <laughs>